Yeah, I'm about to fade away Cause every time I wake up I feel like it's Monday Something's going wrong with all the chemicals up in my brain All of a sudden I don't look at anything the same way Gotta build up of my thoughts sitting in an ashtray I'm sorry that I'm so inconvenient, okay Just let me be me and I'll stay out of your way I can see the way you look at me, I'm such a disgrace I never really asked to be brought into this place You wanna love me? Well then baby, I have a taste All the highs and the lows no, you'll never be the same I don't really wanna hurt you But I can't control the pain If you're sticking by my side Maybe we could be okay Okay, okay Maybe you could be the change I need today I promise that I've never fell this way I really hope that you Will choose to stay Through all the pain I know you told your friend You're not okay And tell me what's wrong And why you never said You felt that way Try to stay strong and fake a smile until I look away But I've known you too long, it hurts to watch your blue eyes fade to grey As you fade away, yeah, 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 yeah. As you fade away
What's going on, everybody? Not too sure. I think it's a Monday, but just came back from the Louisville Card Show, JJ All-Star Show up in Louisville, Kentucky. Very good show. A lot of people there. Probably spent the most I have at a card show in a, probably this year, to be honest. Um, got some crazy package deals. Picked up two higher-end cards, I guess you could say, in a way. And we're going to get to it. You guys got to see a little bit of the video of uh, some of the displays, some of the stuff I was looking through. And just like I said, I had no plan of attack except for basically trying to find me a Kenny Pickett auto, rookie auto that is not in college uniform or a Leaf product. And that was pretty much it other than trying to find some uh, bulk deals. Did that, plus found one great steal today. So let's go ahead and move into it. I'll give you guys some of the pricing that I paid for stuff here today. Um, start off, you guys already know I always say I buy from a father's son. So we looked all these cards up. There was about 180 to 190 in value. He gave it to me for 130. Really, really happy with that. So DeAndre Swift starts us off. This is the Obsidian rookie card here. And I just gotta get one or one thing on my screen. It's driving me crazy. There we go. All right. Obsidian rookie napkin patch to it, but. I know they just got, uh, what's his name, Miles Sanders in up there too, but I still think this dude's a good number two punch if he's not going to be a number one punch, numbered out of 150. Stuff's really cheap. Really, really cheap. Another DeAndre Swift out of 50. This is the, uh, I'm going to set up a deck black. <laughs> Panini Black RPA out of 50. Pretty cool. He was pretty close to comps on this one here as well, so really happy with that. Uh, Hawkinson rookie. This is out of Illusions, out of two ninety nine. Really surprised how cheap this is going for. I guess we are in the off season. Is the lines? I got it. But there's a lot of Detroit fans out there that uh, will go after guys like Hawkinson, Swift, and that. So pretty cool. Some of this may go get graded. I haven't really decided yet. I haven't really looked it over. Another Hawkinson super latives. Really cool piece out of Illusions. I think this is number Oh, yeah, it is. It's numbered out of 50. Out of 50. Keep it with it. Another DeAndre Swift. This one will probably get great because I've done very well with the ones that have the Illusion stickers on it. Not to say it's going to come back at 10, but we're batting three out of three with them. This is numbered out of 75 DeAndre Swift rookie endorsements. We had the Waddle come back at 10 like this. Waddle and I can't remember who the other two were now. I just remember Waddle was recent. Yeah, it's not hitting me. And the final one, this is out of Rookies and Stars, out of 25 out of 25. Purple. DeAndre Swift Auto. Again, relatively cheap stuff, able to get in a bulk deal. Um Don't know if it's gonna be a whatnot thing or whatever I do with it. Maybe post the stuff on the website again. But for the last few weeks, that's why you guys see the mess that's going on. Look at the Tony stack. Way over here is a ton of trouts and judges that I found and other stuff. And we'll eventually get back into whatnot here in two weeks. Just from that uh, last part of the collection I picked up. So really good deal. I mean, you think about it. It is two players. It's all Lions cards. I got it. But we'll give it a shot and a go. Maybe get some graded and make a little extra money onto it with Wiggle Room. All right, this was off of the dad. Um, 
always enjoyed going through his stuff. I really was hoping he'd have the Minka Fitzpatrick auto I passed up last time, but it was sold. So we're going to start off with Cole Anthony, Obsidian Rookie. Still, I can't believe his stuff is that cheap, but this is out of 40. Numbered out of 40. These are still in the cases he gave me, so I still got to sleeve the tops. Chris Levert, Spectra Auto. This is out of 10. Triple Threads out of 36 Soto Game Use Memorabilia. Bat Piece. Pull it up here. Come on, focus. There we go. Really nice looking card. Prism DJ Moore Auto. He was worth the number one draft pick, so it is off centered a little bit there, left and right. Maybe it's not just the way I was holding it. Top and bottom definitely is though. But uh not grade worthy, but nice auto, really cheap prices. He goes up there and tears it up, might be worth something. Should be the starter for the Niners this year. If he goes out there and tears it up, I see his stuff going up. But Trey Lance, this out of Obsidian. Triple Relic action, two color across the board, numbered out of 75. Tatis, he's back, three and two. I can't believe this. The five-piece bat, what it was going for and what these boxes sell for. That's just insane. I think it's out of yeah, 49. Out of 49. Guys, look this up. I mean, it's anywhere from like ten to twenty dollar card. I think we're starting to get back into times where things are making sense and box prices are gonna come down. Okay, let me make sure there's nothing here that I messed up on. Nope. All right, next card. I'm gonna pull it up here. There's the comp that we found. I, he might have bought it off there. I have no idea. It was fifty six dollars. I looked at some of the other stuff, how it's progressed since this sale. So this has to have gone up as well, too. But four out of five, sick-looking patch for Malik Willis. My guess when I was looking at this, I figure it's probably about 65, maybe 70 now, just by what I've seen some of the other um, nicer pieces of Immaculate go up with Willis. I don't know if he's supposed to be starting now or what, but he got a push somewhere along the way, and... Got a little spike for some reason. Alrighty. I know we're doing little pictures today. Picture time, picture time with Extreme. Colin Sexton, you get to miss my face here. Top and bottom were the sales I was looking at. There was a like a $48 sale and a $60 sale, so probably about $55. But Colin Sexton, iMac, not his rookie year, but 5 out of 10 gold. Take it all day long. Take them all day long. And a final piece. Another Polisic out of 25 impeccable 10, 10 SGC. Now I couldn't see what it sold for. And what was weird is, hold on when I came home. Cracking my voice from talking so much today. It showed 350. What's the last sale on this? I had to get some water. You guys don't get to see me chug the water right now. But um, I went on to 130 points, showed 352, and usually it shows the other sales. But for some reason, eBay's saying $200, which I think it's underpriced. I think this should be about 250 to 300 in my opinion. So I picked it up. There's been a lot of talk about where he's going to go play and all this other stuff. So we'll see what happens. I still have a little bit of faith in Polisic out there. Um, is he going to be a Messi or a Ronaldo? Probably not, but still... A popular name out there. Picked this up. Big bulk deal uh, through the whole thing. So, cut me a little bit of a deal onto it. I was happy with it. So, lots of extra stuff to go through today. All right. Now we go to the bigger stuff. Let me flip my screens over here. I think what I want to show first. We'll show this one. Found the picket at the end. Out of 23, this is the red foil. Got it for $450. Well over like 12% off. Probably going to be PSA bound. Not going to lie. Been wanting one. Got one. Super, super stoked to add to the Picket Collection. Last card. Walking around. 
wasn't going to pull a trigger on this. And I looked it up. It didn't make sense to me. So I just bought it on the spur of the moment. Walked around. Um, talked to three different people I knew out there. Cora was one of them. Because uh, you guys know who that is if I mention his name. Really, really in shock. Oops, let me pull up the comp. 1337 Raw. This is a 9.10. So you can imagine this is somewhere between 16 and 2 grand we come up with on a price. Guy had stickered at 900. And I was I did not find this exact card at first. I found something else I went off of and I offered 800. He said 825. This is a monster monster crazy deal pick up find yeah because i was thinking when i found something else that was similar to this card it was i think a thousand dollars as a nine i knew it had 10 auto i'm like yeah let's see you know if he'll go and take 800 for it well he said eight and a quarter and then as i was walking around talking i was like holy crap i did found this on there which is really recent i think it was oh, i'll have to look i can't see a date on here now but it, it was a recent comp on to it. So very, very good pickup on a Morant. Um, craziness. Craziness, I say, out there today. It was a fun show overall. And not just because I did some crazy pickups, buying and stuff like that. Met a lot of you guys that watch the YouTube channel. It's always fun to meet everybody out there. You guys recognize the voice more in the face out there, which is always good. Um, uh, there is one gentleman that's watching, uh, watches the videos. He's going to be set up at the Salem show on May 6th, which I'm going to. So it'll be his first show setting up. So it'll be exciting to see what all he has out there for his first show. I know he was doing like a scout mission today on how to set, like what to do to set up, what to bring, and then get back into like selling and stuff and eventually bring his vintage out. And everybody knows I love my vintage. Hmm. Sorry, guys. I knew it was coming. I was trying to hold it in. Dang pollen out here, man. Allergies. Allergies. I'm not restarting a video all over again on to it, so I apologize for the sneeze. But really good, fun show. Um, this time, walking in there, tables were packed. I mean, all rows were filled. I even walked really through the last row just because of time and having getting a package out to DC Sports. Um, plus I knew I already spent a good chunk of money and didn't want to keep going. It wasn't like I was going to the, a bigger show where I was going to spend buco and buco dollars, but great cards across the board. I seen a lot of nice stuff out there today. Um, a lot of good conversations and everything. So really, really good show next weekend. I'll be set up in Lexington, Kentucky. If you guys are around, come by. You guys definitely want to dig through my value box and tent. Um, Following week, I'll go out to Salem as a buyer, walk around. And I'll be honest with Salem, it's always been hit or miss, but he hasn't ran for a while. So um, I'm expecting it to be a hit where it'll be some good buys, new cards, new inventory, stuff like that. Barnett, guys, have a good, safe rest of the week. I know it's the beginning of the week. It sucks. As you guys are watching this, I'm sitting in my office going, wow, I miss telework. <laughs> All right, guys. Appreciate y'all watching the videos. Take care. Stream out.